Hello, here is Moon and this is a fab padlock. Actually, I were not going either picking or disassembling it, but there was a question on Reddit from Klimatka, Klimatka, I don't know. Um, she was showing that she has those padlocks from that Czech company fab, um, relatively old one, and she apparently picked them and wasn't sure if they're gutable or not. So I remember they have one and I went to look how to get it. And I figured it's actually quite interesting construction inside. So I went ahead and looked at it. And yeah, I figured that it's actually possible to get it. So first let's have a look. Um, it looks like this powder coating is done before the lock is assembled. So I don't expect there are any plugs anywhere. So it must be something spring-loaded, so I figure this hole and this hole, one of those must be for construction. This one doesn't go anywhere, it's just a shackle. Um, so just where the shackle goes up and down so it can be it. But that one can. So I looked at the shape of the uh, shackle a little and I figured that there must be spring-loaded um, detent, retaining pin, whatever, exactly behind that hole. And it turns out I was right. But before I go that way, let me show that it can be picked relatively easily. So, yeah, it's five pin. The beating is, yeah, meh. And I just want to show how it works. There is a cam inside of that hole. I hope you can see it. Let me add some light. So and when you turn, now it's in the locked position. And when you turn the key, it, you see, releases the shackle. So yeah, let's lock it up. Make the lighting a bit less crazy and pick it. All right, what do we have here? Something in the front, click. Okay, something in the middle. I think it's all standard. That must be now number two. Click, some core movement, and the rear one. And it's open just as fast it can be picked. So what do we do? I figure that the detent needs to be depressed, but, um, or well, the pin, like we cannot do it in this position and we cannot move the shackle down, but there is a position when you move the shackle so that it just above the body, you can turn it now and now you can put the shackle in. Now the detent is, or well, pin, whatever it is, retaining thingy is um, depressed. So let's go ahead and put shim inside and try turn it far enough so that the shim actually holds it down. Doesn't work that easily because uh, Okay, now it right, you see, and now and now we can remove the shackle. First step completed. Let's have a look what we have there. I think the most painful part will be. Okay, let's get it out, whatever it is. The worst part will be um, getting out the, not getting out the core, reassembly. That will be a real pain in the ass. But in the meanwhile, let's see. I didn't actually pull it through completely, so I don't know 
now this pin yeah here it goes so this is a shackle spring and here are the pins that were holding both shackle and the core so they would go in the middle it's pretty much the same uh, system as for the cam in lots of euro half cylinders so now that it's removed i guess we should be able to remove the core and i don't know i tried to improvise a um well it's not really a follower whatever you want to call it i have no idea if it will work in the worst case we will have a gutting disaster but they're always fun to watch so let's proceed let's see looks good so far let's put the core aside Whee! and the drivers are jumping out all right whatever let them jump five tiny standards four and five and the cam and five springs now let's just get these out oh they are even tapered just <laughs> wrong side it should have done tapered um, drivers but i guess not enough space for that those are nice key pins i pity it didn't help with pick protection so let me just quickly arrange it all core here is the groove where the uh, spring was holding it nothing special in the core obviously other than some wear marks um, yeah key was quite easy bitting and the housing The holes are from both sides, it probably was just drilled through and then they didn't bother about the other holes because the core cannot be rotated that far anyways. Um, let me see if I can have enough light to show. Yeah, so here is one set of the holes and there is another one. And then the last one it just goes all the way through here and that's where the holding pin goes so one last look at the pins you see the oh go away the core the key pins are kind of tapered that should have prevented uh, should have made um, oversetting easy i guess but in reality it just made the picking easy so yeah that's it interesting gutting of old check fablock with type 4a thank you for watching